respected dignitaries, artists, art critics, academicians, and rasikas, uh, it is an immense pleasure to welcome all of you to the sixth Kavyala Poetry Share session organized by the Consciousness Studies Program at the National Institute of Advanced Studies, Bangalore. Kavyala is a platform that comes to poetry in various languages, forms, and styles, <laughs> and now the world, to share the joy of words. It is conceptualized by Dr. Sankita Menon, uh, Dean of Humanities at NIAS, and Dr. Shankar Rajaraman, uh, who is a poet and a postdoctoral fellow at NIAS. Uh, along with him, we are uh, Preet Kona and I'm Meera Kumar. We are, uh, we are doctoral scholars at NIAS. So uh, we are also delighted to uh, mention that Dr. Shankar is the lyricist also for today's performance. Uh, I would also like to acknowledge and welcome our chief guest, Guruji uh, Sadhanam Balakrishnan, sir, uh, and our artist, uh, Mr. Prabal, Prabal Gupta, sir. Uh, it is also a pleasure to have with us uh, some very prominent art critics. We have with us um, Padma Shri Prav Sasunil Kutari ji, uh, Ms. Rani Kumar ji, and uh, Ms. Tapti Chaudhary ji uh, with us. So uh, it's, it's an honor to have all of you with us. Uh, now, may I request uh, Dr. Sankita Menon, who is um, the Dean of Humanity School and the Head of Consciousness Studies Program at National Institute of Advanced Studies, uh, to speak a few words. Namaste. Um, it's uh, 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 a great moment uh, to be here through this digital space and its luminaries. So, um, what I wish to do. First, to thank the Kavya Lab from the National Institute of Advanced Studies for arranging this beautiful program. So, I uh, thank Preet uh, Kona, Hira Kumar Menon, and of course, our colleague Dr. Shankar Rajaraman and Viharika Sharma for facilitating this program. And uh, interestingly, at the same moment at NIAS, we are having another online program which is called as the orientation program for the new PhD scholars who have just joined today. So our director and other colleagues are uh, engaged with that. Uh, but uh, let me not miss to inform you this, that uh, on behalf of our director, Dr. Shailesh Nayak, and also the chairman of National Institute of Advanced Studies, Sri Ramadurai, uh, we extend a very warm welcome to the gifted artist, uh, Sri Prabal Gupta, and uh, all the other luminaries he has kindly invited to be with us this evening. And may, may I not uh, spell out the names, but I definitely see uh, some really very important names. And it's absolutely a fortune to be with all of you here. So thank you very much, all of you. And thank you, Sri Prabal Gupta, for giving us this opportunity. Yeah. Namaskar, Mr. One and All. Uh, I would uh, I would just introduce the chief guest and today's artist. Uh, so our today's chief guest, Sadhanam P. V. Balakrishnan Guruji. Uh, he began his Kathakali training at a very young age under Guru Narayanan Nair, and he later underwent eight years of intensive training at Gandhi Seva Sadhanam Kathakali Academy under the famous gurus uh, Ramani Nair and uh, Kumaran Nair's uh, gurus, and. Uh, he is currently a senior visiting fellow at Kalakshetra Chennai and is connected with several cultural institutions as a teacher, principal artist, and demonstrator nationally and internationally. He has also written uh, Atakathas as well as choreographing and composing uh, the music for more than 30 new Kathakali dramas. His two prominent productions are the Bakai and Othello. Guruji has performed uh, extensively across the globe and is the recipient of many awards, including the Central Sangeet Natak Academy for the uh, Kathakali. Parishad Saman from Sahitya Kala Parishad, New Delhi, and the senior fellow from uh, Kerala Kala Mandalam, to name a few. He is scrupulous as a teacher within the classical tradition, as well as being innovative in his approach to te text and theme. We welcome you, Guruji. Uh, I would uh, like to speak a few words about today's artist, Prabhul Gupta. So Prabhul Gupta is a sought-after performer and a choreographer, uh, a prominent name in the world of Kathakali, initially trained under Guru Sri Fakt Padmanabhan, Prabhul Gupta continued his advanced studies under the legendary Kathakali exponent and research scholar, Guru Sri Sadhanam Balakrishnanji. Prabhul is also a graded artist of Doordarshan and is an impaled as an 
established artist by the ICCR Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. Prabal is also recognized as an outstanding artist by the Ministry of Culture, Government of India for festivals of India held abroad. He was invited to represent India in 2017 by the MB, uh, Indian Embassy. Uh, and in 2018, he was awarded the Outstanding Citizen of New York by the Council of New York, United States of America. We welcome you, Prabalji. Uh, and I just want to mention that uh, the performance, today's performance is being curated exclusively for the session. And uh, the video would be premiered here for the first time and will not be available elsewhere. Uh, I request uh, uh, Mr. Prabal to kindly begin the session. Shri Gurubhyo Namaha. Um, it is really an honor and a privilege to have such honorable dignitaries with us today evening. I'm indebted to Guruji, uh, my dear Mustashan, to kindly acknowledge the, my request and the request of NIS to be the chief guest. I acknowledge the presence of Padma Shri Bharti Shivaji Madam. Um, today, I am in Kathakali. It's because of her. Um, I have definitely sculpted and uh, 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 prepared and thoroughly uh, uh, prepared by my Guruji, but provided uh, when way back, many years back in 1995, when I was absolutely confused as which form I would choose, and I had gone to her to attend the workshop, it was she who showed me the path to delve in Kathakali and then further specialize in Srivesham aspect of Kathakali. I'm extremely indebted to have Bharti Madam with us today evening and extremely indebted to receive her blessing as well, along with my Guruji. We have with us Padma Shri Shobhana Naranji, Dr. C.K. Garyali. We also have with us Karen Greenspan. She is the dance critic from Ballet Review based in New York. We also have with us Mr. Ajay Veer Chapotkat, who is the founder and director of Arts from India, New York. We also have with us Mr. C.A. Brown, the principal of Redbridge International Academy. We have with us Sangeet Natak Academy awardee dance critic Srimadhi Leila Venkatramanji, whom I always look upon. We have with us film actor Rumit Sharma, and we also have with us Kuchipudi Art Academy, represented by Venkat Vempati and his wife Srimoi Vempati. Uh, they are the legendary, uh, uh, Mr. Venkat Vempati is the son of the legendary Padma Vibhushan Guru Vempati Chenna Satyam. They have kindly acknowledged to grace this occasion. My video, uh, The Bard and the Beautiful, I must tell you that I had requested Shankar Raja Ramanji to write the lyrics of Lady Macbeth and Cleopatra. I will be starting the program with um, I will be starting my program with uh, Cleopatra. Uh, there's, it's a small snippet from the production. It is the first Padam where Cleopatra expresses her love for Anthony to her maid Alexis. The first Pallavi and the Charanam is set to Rag Shankara Varanam in Chempada Thala of 16 beats and the Charanam too is set to Rag Purvi Kalyani in Chempadatala of 16 beats. The entire research work is done under my guru Sri Sadhanam Balakrishnanji. The choreography inputs are also guided by him, though I have choreographed, with much academic inputs from Dr. Sri Shankar Rajaraman, who has scripted and penned the entire Cleopatra in Sanskrit. Cleopatra, the, uh, the, Padam, uh, the Cleopatra will be followed by an abridged version of my entire production, Macbeth. Macbeth, uh, I will be doing a small snippet from my Macbeth production, a 30 minutes version of the entire one hour. This 30 minutes version was premiered in New York in 2014 when I was invited to perform for the Erasing Borders Festival organized by the Indo American Arts Council. Lady Macbeth is also penned by Sri Shankar Raja Ramanji. Various ragas like Ragasim Bhairavi, when Lady Macbeth is asking, is impel, uh, compelling the ghosts to impel upon her, uh, uh, is used. I have also used, um, sorry, in the first scene when Lady Macbeth is actually impelling the ghosts 
to uh, kill king uh, uh, to uh, so that the she's uh, the, the 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 innate feminities in her are dis, uh, uh, are uh, you know um, uh, changed over into a uh, ferocious character we have used rag shanmukha priya in chempadatala uh, when she is actually instigating macbeth to kill king duncan we have used rag sindhu bhairavi and the episode finally concludes with the slip walking scene which is set to rag madhyamavati in chempadatala over to the video William Shakespeare wrote Anthony and Cleopatra in 1606 immediately after Macbeth and is one of the greatest tragedies that Shakespeare has ever produced the most geographically sweeping of Shakespeare's plays Anthony and Cleopatra's setting is the entire Roman empire its backdrop the well documented history of octavius caesar mark anthony and cleopatra cleopatra is described as a lustful gypsy a lady who was so beautiful that even the damsels of heaven were like her maid servants she was an empress king anthony one of the three warriors of rome and youthful in his appearance possessed a heart that was inclined towards her indeed when cleopatra takes the center stage she does so as a consummate actress elevating her passion grief and outrage to the most dramatic and captivating level nevertheless her charisma strength and indomitable spirit has made her one of shakespeare's strongest and most awe inspiring female characters our production commences with cleopatra speaking to mardian her friend about anthony cleopatra complains that she misses anthony and wonders what is he doing whether he is sitting or getting up or galloping on a horse's back she wonders whether anthony has become the serpent of the nile like her cleopatra claims that addressing anthony repeatedly fills her mind with immense pleasure in the meantime alexis who is cleopatra's servant enters and presents her with a gift from anthony a pearl Cleopatra decides to write Anthony love letters thus manifesting her love for him
that was that was exceptionally brilliant, sir. Um, age cannot wither, not custom stale her infinite variety, uh, says Shakespeare about Cleopatra. And there she was uh, exceptionally graceful and elegant uh, in your presence. And then to quote slightly out of context yet from Macbeth, I must say more is due than more than all we can pay. Uh, indeed, our great respects to you, sir. So now, uh, I, before I request Prabhuji to make a few comments, uh, and followed by Guru Sadhanam Balakrishnanji and Bharti Nam, uh, I would request all our Rasikas to put their questions and comments on the chat box. So shortly after this comment, uh, we will take uh, your questions. So kindly requesting you to type them out in the chat box and we'll be taking them. So uh, Prabhuji, if you would please speak. Yes, please. Um, I, this, is, uh, this would not have been possible without the immense support that I received from my Guruji. Uh, Balakrishnan Guruji. Uh, nobody knows. Uh, I had seen him first performing way back in 1995 at the Antiquity Festival where Bharti Shivaji Ma'am and Guruji were performing together at the World Heritage Site Victoria Memorial and sitting beside my first Guru that I had that innate hankering towards him. I do not know what was the reason. I was very young then. And uh, slowly, when the moment I started finished, uh, I mean, finishing my studies, I started looking for a job in Delhi so that I can start learning from him. But destiny has its different role to play. I, even after my immense tryest of looking for a job in Delhi, because he was the director of the International Center for Kathakali then, I could not get a job. And I got a job in Bangalore. I do not know what was the reason. And I shifted to Bangalore. I had heard about uh, Guru Sri Fakt uh, since many, many years. I had read about him that he was a leading Sri Vishnu specialist. And uh, uh, being, uh, I moved uh, to under uh, Guru Sri Fakt uh, way back in uh, 2002, 2003 rather, when I shifted to Bangalore and I started learning under him. As I said, destiny has its role to play. Balakrishna Guruji shifted to Chennai and to, uh, to take over the Kathakali department in Kalakshetra. And I understood why God never allowed me to uh, look for a job in Delhi. And, and I was very close to Padmanabhanash and it was not easy for me to move out from him. But very slowly, after a span of uh, I, uh, like five years, I somehow got Balakrishna Guruji's telephone number and I contacted him and I said, Guruji, I know you since many, many years and I was very young and I had seen you dancing. So is it possible for me to come to you and learn? And I went to him uh, uh, and believe me, a few classes of mine just went above my head. I was not able to understand the the style is extremely stylistic, extremely tough. And that stylization, the extreme stylization, which Balakrishnan Guruji's style has, the Kirpadam style of Kathakali has, along with his brilliant imaginary, uh, which he puts into the choreographic work, even in the set choreographies, the Chitta Padams, uh, uh, for that matter, um, uh, is beyond imagination. It, is, it was not easy. Let me tell you one thing. I was bedridden. Nobody knows. Even Guruji does not know about this. Today I'm telling, I was bedridden for a week. I got a severe back pain after first two classes in Chennai. And I said, oh my God, I cannot. But again, I felt, what is it that I cannot? It was not easy for me to adapt this time. Um, uh, took, I took many, I mean, like from 2013 onwards, I slowly started understanding what he was, I mean, his style and his philosophy in dance. His philosophy in dance is something which is beyond imagination. Luckily, with my little background in Bharatanatyam and Odissi and to some extent a little bit of Mohiniyatam under Bharati Chichi, what I've learned, that I could understand the, and grasp what he was trying to say. Um, and then um, his, the, the rasas that he, that he talks about, the Sanchari Bhavas, the Sthai Bhavas that he talks about, and it's beyond imagination. And thanks to my literature background that I can understand what he tries to tell. And he always says that you must first concentrate on the literature. It, it, that is something which is very important. You just cannot dance by executing the mudras. That's not what Kathakali is. And I must and must thank him without, because I had an innate desire to do Macbeth when I was doing my graduation and post-graduation with English from the University of Calcutta. 
it was, um, and when I went under him, I did not even open my mouth after learning for about five years that I could slowly tell him, this is what my desire is. Can I work on it? And slowly, slowly after he gave me permission that I started working on it. Uh, I must uh, tell that uh, the music is brilliantly composed by Sadhanam Shivadas, the most sought after uh, vocalist in Kerala uh, in the contemporary Kathakali scenario. Uh, with inputs from Balakrishnan and Guruji. Most of the ragas are suggested by him. And then he composed the music of Macbeth. Um, Mandalam is by Sadhanam Devadasan and Chenda and Erekya by Sadhanam Ramakrishnanashan, all from the Sadhanam Kathakali Academy. And for Cleopatra, uh, again, the music is composed by Sadhanam Shrividas with inputs from Balakrishnan and Guruji. And uh, he was supported in Cleopatra, he is supported by Sadhanam Jyotish Pagu, with uh, Chenda and Erekya by Sadhanam Ramakrishnan and uh, Madhalam by Sadhanam Devadasanji. They, uh, they are a lovely set of orchestra people who also traveled with me when I went to represent India in 2017 in Washington, D.C. So that's all about me. Over to all of you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Prabhu. So now may I request uh, Guru Sadhana Balakrishnanji to speak a few words. He's the chief guest for our day. So. Good evening to everybody, the dance gurus, the very eminent and creative critics, and well known appreciators, well wishers. I am really honored to talk in front of you. I have not much experience in talking. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to be tell anything about the performance we have seen. I don't want to be in between the performer and the art and the appreciators. Just few words about the about Prabha and words about the writer. <coughs> Prabha is an Anmayali from Kolkata. I am one, very much in one, wonder how he is a, became a very fond of Kathagali. This is beautiful, but very tough, difficult to learn. This dance drama is not as easy as other classical dances. It's very tough. This is the toughest one of the performing arts. And I don't know how he came to know and started the, his training in very early age. And he started in the early age and still continuing the interest. And he takes this for his lifelong professional career. It is not easy. Again, another thing. Kathagali is a tradition, highly stylized traditional dance drama. It is not a solo dance. The stories from our great epics and Puranas are enacted on the stage as a drama. There will be different characters on the stage interacting together and creating the drama. And According to circumstance, maybe Prabhal took a bold initiative to perform the drama as solo. And there were so many critics about, negative critics about his attempts. But now he proved his method because he got recognition, applause, and uh, appreciation from not, uh, not only in, in India, even from abroad. He performed many countries 
other than India, and he, everywhere it was appreciated and well received. So his attempt to perform a classical dance drama to a dance, he, I can tell that he succeeded in that. <clears throat> then about the writer, Shankar Ram, uh, Raja Ramji, to write a kathag, text for Kathagali, we call it Atta Katha, is not an easy job. It is very difficult to compose text for Kathagali. Main reason is a drama. According to our tradition, Nadagandam Kavitvam. The text for any drama, it is the top literature. It is not the lower. Those who are well versed and were capable of writing other part of, sort of literature, when he reached to the high level, only can try yet the Nadagam, text for drama. Again, for Kathagali, there are so many hurdles. Because it is not a drama, it is a dance drama. So first, the, according to sahit, Sahitya, what is the meaning? Hitena Saha Sahitya. The literature must be appreciable, enjoyable. It is not language, it is literature. So it must be, first of all, it must be Sahitya, which gives uh, pressure or joy, joy to the uh, uh, readers. So it must be Sahitya. Then it must have the musical appeal. Because in Kathagali, it must be, you have heard Mr. Uh, <coughs> in a very beautifully uh, appeasing way and giving emotions through his voice and his sensation. So the text must be suitable for the musical quality, first of all. And again, it must be good for stage practice. There are so many techniques in Kathagali stage practice. It must be suitable for that. There will be dance. Uh, and again, it must be fitting for the different rhythms which selecting for the dance. All this together must create rasa to the audience, to the appreciate. Rasa nishpati. That must be the utmost aim for any theater work. And our classical dancers are all aiming to create Rasanu Bhuri through Rasanishpati. So I must, I must first give prana to Sangar Raja Ramji and again congratulation for his success in, in his bold attempt. And other thing I want to mention <coughs> is it, uh, all these well wishes must give support and encourage Mr. Uh, my dear Prabhupada Gupta and let him continue his effort. And again, Mr. Sangar Ramji, both will give us new, again, so many new experimental productions and we can enjoy such productions, not only the traditional one, of course, the traditional ones are there, but experimental, nowadays, experiment, not for experiment, experiment, it must give something new to the art, then the experiment will be worth. So we must support Mr. Prabha and of course, Mr. Uh, the Ramji, uh, Radha Ramji, for their effort. And I hope you enjoy the performance and we will give full support. Thank you for giving my, me the opportunity to, talk, to share my view. Thank you, Guruji, for those words of wisdom and appreciation. Now, uh, may I request Bharati, ma'am, to speak a few words, if she may. 
my namaskaram to all my other senior critics here who are present. My namaskaram to Sadhanam uh, Ashan because he is also my guru. I have also learned uh, quite a lot from him and I was very, very fortunate to be his neighbor and it, I had very good access to go and meet him anytime I wanted and he guided me so well. And, and, and with all gratitude, I like to acknowledge that today. I had the opportunity to do that. And uh, about Probal, I would like to say many years ago in Bangalore, uh, you know, I had conducted a, a Mohini Atam uh, workshop and uh, I saw Probal there for the first time. And he joined the Mohini Atam uh, workshop. But somewhere I felt that, um, you know, he was cut out for the Sri Vesham Kathakali, but not for Mohini Atam as such, because his future there would be better than uh, in the Mohini Atam. And it was, uh, I was insisting that he should go. He has great potential, great, he is very intelligent, his intelligent, his his, his uh, the fire within him to learn so much and was all very very uh, obvious when he came for his workshop and so it was uh, the earlier training was i'm not i wasn't too happy with, to see him as a kathakali dancer and also he himself was uh, i think uh, looking for a proper uh, direction and so it was uh, very wonderful that, uh, that he went to Ashan. You cannot find a better guru than him ever in this world because I can vouch for it. He's a wonderful teacher, wonderful guru. And so um, I'm glad he's continuing with him. And I'm seeing Probal after many years, after I think almost uh, 20 years, 20 to 25 years. And I see this sea change in his performance. It's so fantastic. He's so mature and he's really worked very hard. And uh, that, that bhakti that he has in him has brought him to this level. And uh, in the not only nationally, but also internationally. And he's got, he's gained recognition. And he's also applied his whole um, literary uh, intelligence, everything into his dance. So that's also very important. Just being a good dancer is not enough these days. And particularly when you are trying out new literary works and, uh, you know, the, the, today what he pre presented was very, very challenging. Very challenging. And I don't think any Katakali dancer could have attempted it the way he has. And so it was so beautifully, brilliantly portrayed and presented. And I'm very, very proud of him. And I wish him all the best. And I, all my prayers for him that he is continuing it with Ashan. So that so he's on the right track. And he's also um, uh, improved himself very vastly. And I'm very happy for him. I'm very, very happy for him. And all my prayers that you may rise more and more at, in, in your uh, endeavor, your dance career. And thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, now, um, may I request uh, Sunil, uh, Sunil, sir, he is here. Uh, his comments are also here. So, Sunil Kutari, sir, would you please uh, say something? Uh, Professor Sunil Kutareji, are you here? Yeah. Okay. Sir is here. Uh, sir, I think you muted yourself. I've asked to unmute. If you could please unmute yourself. Yeah, I think you're okay. unmuted now. Yeah. But, sir, the first beginning, my pranam to Sadhanam Bhargrashan Guruji. Namaskar Guruji. My neighbor, Bharti Shivaji. Also, my dear friend Leela Venkatramanthi and many other people who are present over here. It was wonderful to be together to see and in the time of pandemic and this corona on a virtual plane. We have the fist of the Kathakali performance by Prabal. Being a Kathakali Brantan, I have enjoyed immensely the Kathakali performances, but 
Guruji himself had done Othello, also in Kathakali, and to watch the performances by Guruji and also his one of the colleagues, etc., was a real feast for one. Particularly in case of Prabal, that he had been dressed with a pair of eyes. The eyes speak so well. The Abhinaya, the expression coming through the eyes, absolutely are hypnotizing. And then when you think of the character of Cleopatra, Anthony, Mark Anthony, and Julius, and then you think of the uh, uh, Duncan and Lady Macbeth, you are reminded of the epic quality of this uh, literature, which Shakespeare has written. And Dr. Shankar Raja Raman sir has done a stupid job. Those who can follow Sanskrit and those who can follow along with Sanskrit, all the ragas, along with that also the, uh, the text which is being uh, sung along with the dance performance, then our pleasure is doubled, more than doubled. To invent a costume for Cleopatra to make her look regal, like what Shakespeare says, that age cannot wither her nor custom steal her infinite variety, which comes through very beautifully and suggestively. My only objection was that the stool, I didn't like it. If she's from Cleopatra, it's a palace. We should remove that plastic stool. That you have to do the next time when we perform. <laughs> Don't bring the stool. You cover it with a beautiful, you know, beautiful cloth piece or an artistic way, but don't keep it like that. That is okay. Otherwise, the presentation was very good. I have been very fortunate to have seen uh, performances of Macbeth by my very dear friend Pratantiam in Manipuri. And uh, in the language, which is not even Manipuri language, something archaic language, but the presentation keeps you engaged and on your seat. You are at the edge of your seat. It's the finale of uh, uh, Lady Macbeth's Vida and the Agony and the Gatha. And then, the as it said, that thousand perfumes of Arabia cannot even wash her hand or the smell will not go. Probably did a good job. It's a highlight of the performance. It's like a climax that how Lady Macbeth is caught up in the conflict. She's caught up with the murder that she has committed. She did a superb job. Now, to present this in a solo, as Guruji said very well, Asan, is a dance drum and solo form is very tough. I've seen earlier in Kolkata, our great guru, uh, Govindan Kutti, sir, he was my colleague in Ravindabad University, and he had adopted some of these dance drama characters of Gurudev Rohina Tagore, dance drama, Chitrangata, Arjun, and all. It was very wonderfully done by him. But here, in the contemporary time, from the young generation, Prabhupada did a good job. I, last time when I was in Bangalore, I think it was five or six years ago, I was invited by the Science Institute to give a lecture demonstration, explain the nuances of the so I selected Prabhupada to come with me. And it was a galaxy of scientists that were there, and Prabhupada demonstrated very, very beautifully all the bhava, as if all the rasas were at his back and called. Now, this is what is great about what Guruji said. The Kathakali as a dance form prepares the actor in such a wonderful manner that he can raise his eyebrows and can measure the height of Mount Kailas. Or he can open his eyes and can take you to Patal. Now, this ability of the Kathakali as a dance drama is something which is very unique only to Kathakali in particular. And uh, thanks to uh, Guruji's guidance. He wants to do his PhD, he wants to do further. He started with uh, uh, Padmanabhan, went to Balakrishnan sir, when he had asked me also. I'm very happy what Bharati did. I didn't know about this whole origin about how he came to learn to Gadakali and Bharati guided him to go to perform Mohini Artam, come to Sri Vesham, and he specialized in Sri Vesham. I've seen him earlier also in Bangalore in many performances, and I'm a great admirer of his work. It is not easy for any male dancer to carve his own niche in a competitive field where women can outsmart all the women can outsmart any male dancer who can be as good as even Vedantam Satyam to perform the female role in such nuances. And Prabhupada has been working very, very hard. He has received the good blessings from all his admirers. I have seen his reviews when he went to USA when he performed abroad in New York and all and many other countries, but that is not enough. He has understood, as Bharati said, as Guruji said, that it is ultimately hard work, sadhana. There is no other mukti for any dancer 
accept the sadhana it gives ultimately what guruji says so beautifully rasa nishpatti that the sadhuva comes that is more important those today who are watching luckily on the virtual plane on the video etc they are lucky because they can experience the sadhana it's not easy you have to film this very beautifully because sometimes the technical it comes so suppose the kala samsar being done sometimes they are breaking here and there but that is only because of the technical hitch etc but i have seen the performance in live performance i know it was extremely very beautifully all the kala samsar now this fundamental training of kathakali of number of years allows you to present at least 50% of what you have 100% of technique and then you succeed somewhere as all other elders have said that he can rise to great heights i'm very confident and very confident about him i'm very fond of him and i'm sure with hard work and the blessings of his guru he will reach to better heights that is what his aim should be and thank you for this opportunity to share with guru ji with bharti with my leela my dear friend leela ji and other people who are present my little ji etc but i do believe that uh, it was a great pleasure to watch thank you prabhu thank you sadanand sir sadram sir thank you varthi thank you all other friends who have made this possible the institution in uh, uh, bangalore is being super job i did not know about this advanced institution sir being such a wonderful presentation that you have so number of other people can watch also and because of this recording being done it can be shared with you namaskar to all namaskar thank you thank you so much uh, professor sunil kutari ji uh, now uh, if i may may i please request uh, leela ma'am to speak a few words ma'am would you like to say something mute oh. ma'am is unmuted uh, ma'am is uh-huh. even muted here yeah hello leela ji namaste namaskar <laughs> namaste leela ji namaste <laughs> everybody has uh, already said so much there is very little for me to say you know one of the great reasons why i have been a very very great admirer of guru ji is not merely his traditional background and his superb teaching but the fact that he has always had this tremendous urge and creativity in him to go out and get the riches from other languages from other literatures and try to put them into kathakali and see how they work out there are lots of people very few people who do that because when you take something from another language there are a great deal of problems because if it's a well known character like cleopatra or all the shakespearean characters they come with a baggage and you are taking it into an entirely different form a different language and how much do you retain and how much do you leave out and when whatever you retain how do you bring out the essence of that particular character it has to be new and at the same time it shouldn't be something which is too far away from the original because you are going to it because the original is so great so part of the original has to be captured but at the same time you have to give it a newness so that it shines in its own right and i have seen every time guru ji do this with such tremendous zeal and the way in which he directs the music and today i thought the script was so extraordinary i mean you felt every bit of shakespeare's lines in what was being said and the way in which it was enacted by prabhu and the music extraordinary music and i think these base has to be prepared in such a clever way otherwise when you try to adapt from another literature and you bring it to an entirely different um, uh, style and a genre then there are tremendous poss- uh, possibilities but there are also many ways in which you can fail and every time i have seen i saw his uh, othello and desdemona i mean it was something out of this world and ever since then i have always been a great admirer of guru ji's work as for prabal today it's been uh, getting over cultural boundaries in different ways not merely in terms of adapting the literature from 
a different language and bringing it into Kathakali and providing it with an entirely different personality on the stage. But a person from Calcutta to get into Kathakali, to go to Kerala, to learn like this, to have this kind of passion, and then to come out with a performance which is uh, so refined and um, really brings out the character so well. I think I'm very happy to have seen uh, what I saw today. And thank you so much, Prabal, for calling me. And thank you so much, Guruji. Keep on giving us these great riches because there are very few people who can do this kind of thing. You take the riches of one language, bring it to another language, and show it to the people in a form in which they understand and which has a stylized strength of its own. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, now we'll take a few questions. The chat box is definitely flooded with so many congratulations to uh, Rebel, sir. So uh, I'll take one question from uh, Mr. Sandhi. Uh, sir, are you here? Would you wish to speak? Uh, Mr. Sandhi, are you here? Yeah, he's here. I'm unmuting. Okay. Hi. Uh, yeah, uh, quite a lot have been said already and the performance itself was uh, so spellbinding. Uh, I just wanted to say um, uh, regards to, convey my regards to Ashan, Esadhana Malashan Ashan and all the great uh, people who are here. Um, I, I was just thinking such a, such a new play, such a new uh, uh, Atakatha like this uh, and uh, when you listen to some songs, I, I, I was just reminded of a... <laughs> Uh, like a conversation I had long back uh, with my my own guru Kotakel Madhu Madhumash. So uh, uh, he was like some somebody else was having this discussion, saying that these new uh, stories it's difficult to uh, take into the uh, the audience which is already there. And then uh, Madhumash had uh, Kotakel Madhu had this uh, counter argument. He said that uh, a padam like Sharada uh, Rajani so something that is from Arjuna Vishadavartam, which was a, uh, I think I have only seen one night of Arjuna Vishadavartam so far. It's very rare to see new work. Like even nowadays, I think uh, Mali's uh, Karnashabdam itself had been uh, like pushed to backward. Back for, I think like a, a padam like karna. So if you if you are like denied the opportunity to hear gems like this, I think uh, so. And, and newer newer ones are coming. So today I uh, was so uh, fascinated by the music that was in today's performance. So uh, my question to uh, uh, Prabal sir is: uh, uh, Are there more works coming? Are there there more uh, yes, there are. There are. I'm actually working on it. I don't want to reveal what I'm working on, but there is a major, major work which I've already discussed with Guruji and which I've already discussed with Shankarji. It's definitely on a Western literature, and I am absolutely planning to work for it. Uh, hopefully by next year, um, uh, around May, that I'm going to launch. I, I think Leela Aunty knows about it because I was talking to her. Um, Tapati Chaudhary knows about it, <laughs> Bharti Man knows about it, Guruji knows about it, but I just don't want to reveal it in the public for the time being. It's a brilliant work which I'm planning. I've already discussed with Guruji about the costumes that I need to wear. And again, it will not be a konda because that character does not need a konda. So I'm, I'm actually in the process of designing a kiritam uh, which will be um, uh, used for that character. And again, it's based on a female. It's, on a, it's, it's, a, it's a story by watching on a female character. It's a strivesho. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for asking that question and thank you so for responding. Uh, now we'll take a question from Chefin S. And may I request him to please be a little brief since we are running a little short of time. I have actually understood what he is trying to tell me. Now, uh, to answer Chefin's question, yes, Chefin, uh, there are a lot of similarities of the Shakespearean Atakathas with the traditional Kathakali Atakathas. If you see the language, the, lang the richness of the language, the richness of the language, the Mani Pravalam script, which is the Sanskritized Malayalam, and the richness of the Shakespearean language are very similar. Both 
the, uh, the, the characters in Shakespeare and the traditional Kapitali Artakathas, there are a lot of similarity in the characters, both belonging from the royal patronage. And the way the dramas are designed in Shakespeare, uh, the Shakespearean dramas are designed, you will see the same way the Kapitali Artakathas are designed. And hence, there are a lot of similarities with Bard's work, as well as, um, you know, um, uh, the work of the traditional Kapitali Artakathas. The way the drama rises, to the climax, and then there is um, and to this, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, 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 the sudden, uh, the, the fall of the drama, the, the, the climax it goes, and then the, anti, uh, it, the uh, anticlimax. The, it's the same way, the way the traditional Kapitali Atakathas are designed, it, it's in the same way the Shakespearean Atakathas are designed too. So there's a lot of similarities, and hence uh, I, uh, I decided to work. It's not me the, who has attempted. I have taken my Guru's work forward. My Guru has already worked on Othello and Macbeth, um, uh, uh, his Othello is claimed worldwide, been sponsored by Sangeet Mahatuk Academy in many, many festivals of India and abroad. Um, and um, I decided to, because I'm actually working on, uh, to, uh, you know, to enhance the boundary of uh, Sri Vesham aspect of Kapitani, even my book, uh, which is already getting released next week, uh, is on the verge of printing, it's getting released next week, is also on the Sri Vesham uh, genesis of Kapitani. So I have decided to uh, you know, uh, um, to bring out more and more works on the prevention aspect of Kathakali because I feel that genesis of Kathakali needs more and more work. Much work has not been done uh, on the prevention aspect. So again, the new work is again based on prevention. So I decided to work on Lady Macbeth, keeping in mind that I need to, uh, you know, uh, the enhance the boundary of the prevention aspect. So Lady Macbeth is one such. Uh, even Cleopatra is another, uh, though I have the full version written by Shankar Raja Ramanji. Uh, uh, Lady Macbeth was done in way back in 2014, but when I was uh, celebrating my 25 years of dancing career in, 19, in 2015, that I did Cleopatra. And I uh, uh, decided, and I, when I was working with Guruji, I felt that uh, I was working with, studying with him. I told him that I do not think that the Kunda uh, is, at, is any way suitable to the Kunda, which is bored in Srivesham, which is apparently like an artificial bun, which is only in Srivesham, which is suitable for, uh, for the portrait of the Cleopatra. Because if you see Cleopatra, if you read the books, if you see the images, it has a, she was a pharaoh, and they used to wear a crown with a, with a snake foot. And uh, what I decided that let me adapt from the Kudi Artem, I mean, uh, I mean, let me adapt, it's actually uh, adapt from the Theyam and the Kiritam. Uh, uh, it's adapted uh, from there, and I decided to wear that kiritam, keeping the rest of the ornaments intact, because that kiritam is actually, uh, uh, you know, very much in sync with the uh, the, uh, the the crown worn by a uh, 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 pharaoh. So that was uh, that was the main thing which I did. And again, I'm also working with him now. Simultaneously, works has slowly started. Shankar is writing the lyrics. Uh, should be in by around uh, October, November, because I was a little busy with this work because I wanted to do a fresh recording because a lot of things have changed over the passage of time. Uh, Lilanti has seen me dancing uh, Macbeth in uh, for Delhi International Arts Festival way back in 2014, and she must have seen the amount of the changes that I've made uh, uh, sitting with Guruji. And uh, 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 so these are the things which I wanted to address. So there are a lot of similarities, and we are we uh, uh, and the Western literature and. For me, dance is a subject of applied literature. So we need to experiment with various literature uh, within the traditional boundaries of Kathakili without moving, without breaking the boundary. Um, my, always my aim is to work within the traditional boundaries of Kathakili. That's what I would love to do even for my future projects as well. Thank you, thank you sir. Thank you for answering that question. Now we have uh, Dr. Shankar Rajaraman who's uh, a poet, a scholar, and also the lyricist for this program, uh, who's also our pride. So Shankar, sir, if I may please ask you to speak a few words. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Meera. And uh, good evening to all of you. Uh, I'm actually a man of very few words. I exhaust all my words in my lyrics rather than in speaking. Uh, and uh, thank you, uh, Guruji, especially uh, for those appreciative words. And uh, thank you, Bharati, ma'am, and thank you, uh, Sunil Khotariji for your uh, encouraging words about the lyrics. Uh, just a few words about uh, uh, the lyrics. Uh, <clears throat> I'm extremely thankful actually to uh, Prabalji uh, for providing me a lot of freedom in writing the lyrics. 
uh, i usually write lyrics for bharatanatyam dancers and uh, most of them come to me asking uh, lyrics in kannada and i usually tell them that i write in sanskrit and then they say uh, okay you can write in sanskrit but write in very simple sanskrit uh, which actually hurts me being a being a poet who writes in the classical idiom uh, when people ask me to write very simple sanskrit it actually hurts me and uh, i told uh, prabhupal ji the first time i met him that uh, i would like to write in the classical idiom as i have been always writing and he immediately agreed and he in fact told me that uh, no no you should write in the classical idiom uh, don't uh, uh, in any way water down the lyrics uh, and that was something which uh, uh, which encouraged me uh, to keep on writing lyrics for him uh, and uh, with respect to the two dramas for which i penned the lyrics uh, i actually have to confess that uh, uh, it's only after meeting uh, prabhul ji that i actually read the two works macbeth as well as cleopatra and uh, i was so steeped into sanskrit literature that i had forgotten to read uh, literature of any other language and uh, uh, meeting uh, prabhul ji was a boon in disguise because i could actually go through the dramas of uh, shakespeare and uh, now i feel that i get the same enjoyment uh, from reading shakespeare that i used to get uh, uh, by reading poets like kalidasa and for these two reasons i am extremely indebted to prabhul ji and uh, i don't think i should thank him because we are uh, uh, we we have worked to, towards this production together uh, greater credit should go to him but uh, i have a small credit too um, but then uh, i will not thank him but i am always enthralled by his performance i always look forward for the last scene of macbeth and uh, where i have not contributed any lyrics and it is there that uh, i find prabhul shining the best and so i congratulate him once again and wish him all the success in his future endeavors and i uh, promise him that i will help uh, with lyrics as as uh, my i'll contribute my bit to help him thank you prabhul ji uh, i must add here that uh, this works which have which have happened is uh is a, a dual help which i i mean it's a it's an absolutely accumulated help which i received from shankar ji because shankar ji when he writes i mean let me tell you i have mentioned about him in my book as well his lyrics are absolutely devoid of sanskrit jargon and it's very mellifluous in nature and that has helped uh, uh my musician singer uh, sadanam shivadas to beautifully come <coughs> if the lyrics are filled with sanskrit jargon it is very difficult to pronounce and it's very difficult to compose music and that's what he has done and the amount of the time that i spent with him days together coming to his home sitting with him understanding the meaning working together uh, it is beyond and the amount of the time that he gives me irrespective of the fact that he has a full time job and we sit together in the evening uh, uh, traveling all the way from koramangala the place that i stay to raja rajesh uh, to raja ji nagar and sitting with him and working together till 10 30 in the night and then catching an uh, you know uh, previously there were no olas and uber and i used to catch a bus and then come back and then go to kerala and sit with guru ji and the process is, did not happen over a span of one month or so it took me about 8 months before i actually composed the music back and forth to kerala and um, uh, bangalore back and forth to chennai and bangalore uh, because i run web bujis i mean like i i i just hold him or hold his back and run behind him uh, so it's like that and then sitting with chankar ji and you know understanding what to do how shall i go about what are the things that you suggest because um, i alone as a this productions i do not i never take it on my uh, stride because Uh, Shankar Rajaraman ji has not only written uh, uh, Cleopatra and Macbeth. Let me tell you, I was invited to perform at the most prestigious dance festival of India, or rather abroad, called the Khajuraho Dance Festival in two thousand nineteen. And I was actually asked to present my uh, production called When Parallels Meet, which is written by him. It's a very beautiful atakatha which he has written on the on, on the life of Chitrangada, and he has taken the lyrics from Macbeth, uh, from Mahabharata, and he has also written a brilliant atakatha called Dakshin Paradhamsanam, which is actually the Sanskritized version of the Mani Prabalam script of uh, written by Rai Mangalam, that is Dakshayagam. 
So, which I did it as a Jugal Bandi with Purulia Chow being invited to perform for the White Pill Music Conference because they had a theme of a confluence of North and South. So, he, we have been working together since 2010. And let me tell you one thing Shankarji's work is something to vouch for, something which is splendid. And he is one of the best lyricists in India at the moment. Thank you, thank you, sir, for that elaborate response. Now, since um, we have a little bit of time constraint, we'll not be taking any further questions. Uh, but I would like to request Dr. Sankita Menon, who's also a very creative person, to speak a few words, ma'am. Thank you, uh, Mira. Well, I'm, I don't know what I should be speaking because I think the words won't do justice. Uh, so I wouldn't take much time, but then I would like to share a few uh, uh, thoughts. First and foremost, um, a big thank you and pranam to all the gurus here who have uh, come and uh, blessed National Institute of Advanced Studies and its uh, initiative, which is very novel. And uh, we are very indebted to your presence and blessings for us. I don't wish to name anyone but I see all the gurus in front of the screen and a big namaskaram to all of you. And uh, what I wish to also say is that Dr. Shankar Rajaraman uh, has been with the Institute for some time. And uh, we have had great associations uh, with Dr. Shankar as our colleague. And, uh, you know, he is a gem to us and with so much uh, adorned by humility apart from his erudition. So the magic uh, combination of erudition, talent, and humility makes him absolutely uh, invincible. What I also wish to say is about uh, the team Kavya Lab. Kavya Lab is, is a new initiative, actually, uh, which we started a few months back. And uh, uh, with the combination of the spirit and passion of uh, Preet Kona, Meera Kumar Menon, along with Dr. Sh Ra Shankar Rajaraman's interest in poetry and Sanskrit has brought Kavya Lab together. And without Kavya Lab, this would not have been possible today. Today, um, you saw this excellent streaming of the video of uh, Sri Prabal Gupta. And uh, for many of us who perhaps had good went with, we experienced a live performance. It was not a video performance. And this was also possible because of the commitment which Preet Kona had and who decided that he will stay back at his home and use his own very good uh, bandwidth system to live stream uh, almost a near to an ultra HD video. So a lot of thanks to uh, Preet as well for this absolutely um, brilliant idea and your commitment. Uh, this team is also supported by Meera Menon and Niharika Sharma. Uh, so Meera is also very interested in literature and poetry. She pursues a career perhaps uh, uh, which is starting here with a PhD degree here, and she has many more dreams. And Niharika is a philosopher. She is managing the online platform of Zoom uh, for this program and all the Kavya Lab uh, events. So I wish to thank uh, both Meera and uh, Niharika Sharma for their commitment as well. I wish to say one more two lines uh, more. The National Institute of Advanced Studies is an institute inspired by J.R.D. Tata. Perhaps almost all of you who is sharing our screen now is aware of this genius, J.R.D. Tata. J.R.D. Tata's vision for the Institute was to bring in humanity, social sciences, and natural sciences together. But then there was one more very important subject which he wanted to bring in, which is arts. He himself being an exemplary a talented and creative person. He wanted Niyas to pursue culture and arts along with the passion for mathematics, social sciences, natural sciences, philosophy, and so on. I was thinking if J.R.D. Tata was here with us today, he would have been so joyful to see this 
heavenly coming together of uh, Kathakali, Shakespeare, and the digital space. Well, we are now living in the pandemic time, and we don't have the luxury to spend three hours, perhaps, you know, in the middle of the night and watch a beautiful Kathakali performance, perhaps from Rebelji. So the digital space has blessed us. So Kamya Lab has taken the first step, perhaps, I don't know, even in India, perhaps it's the first step. For this institute, definitely is the first step. It has taken the first step to bring in arts and particularly a difficult performance like the Kathakali and bring in a larger train together all in the virtual space and give the assurance to all the people out there that nothing is lost and nothing is impossible if artists are together, even if it is pandemic times. So this was the first experiment for National Institute of Advanced Studies in the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore to bring in the digital space to share a magnificent Kathakali performance to all of you and uh, also have the art critiques and the great talents around us to talk about it. This was a absolutely great success and this success would not have been possible once again without the, of course, the brilliance of the artist Prabalji himself and also the blessings of all the gurus, Guru Sadhanam Balakrishnanji, uh, Bharati ma'am and uh, Leela ma'am and all the others who are sharing the screen now. And of course, also our own gem, Dr. Shankar Rajaram. And if he had not perhaps written the lyrics, perhaps this invitation would not have come to us this soon also. So I'm sorry for taking a little long to say this, but I thought it is important, particularly because this is the first experiment for this institute to uh, bring to you and showcase this magnificent art form. Thank you so much. Uh, I would like to say a few words. I am extremely indebted to the NIAS team. Uh, Preet, who had been working with me, Mira, immensely. I have been calling Preet every now and then and disturbing him. And the way that the effort has been put up, I'm immensely grateful to Sangeeta Ji for, uh, giving this, for opening up this wonderful opportunity for us. And I personally feel that we have to, time has come when we have to think that dance is a subject of applied literature, dance is a subject of education, and all educational institutes must think about dance seriously and bring the sort of sessions for the art form, for, for art form to promote. Uh, being a Kathakali exponent, I'm extremely indebted that um, Kathakali, uh, you have thought about Kathakali, and because uh, to be very honest, um, Kathakali sidelined uh, most of the time. And, uh, and uh, every dance festivals you see uh, will, will, will be conducted without Kathakali. But I'm extremely indebted that you have thought about Kathakali. I'm extremely indebted to Preet uh, for working with me simultaneously. I didn't want to disturb Shankarji because he's a part of the production. So I've never disturbed him. The moment I've spoken to Preet, I was with Preet non-stop working with Preet and uh, today in the morning, Mira, uh, we all sat together and did a rehearsal and I wanted to see what everything was going on. Kudos to the entire NIAS team for bringing this, for making this production a complete success. And thanks to, special thanks to Sangeeta Ji for even thought about me and giving me this wonderful opportunity and giving rather, I would say, not me, rather particularly a wonderful opportunity and showcase to the people the beauty of the art form, which is, a def which is definitely the requirement of the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And thank you, ma'am, also for that wonderful message of hope and gratitude during these times. There is definitely a lot of people that we should thank and who better to do that than our Preet, who has been working so relentlessly for all of this to happen. So I'll just take a moment to thank Preet for doing everything that he has done to make this possible. And now, Preet, if you might please... Uh, Propose a word of thanks. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, Prabhul, sir. No, Mira, I think it wouldn't have been possible without all of us. Uh, on behalf of Team Kavya Lab and the National Institute of Advanced Studies, we would like to convey our gratitude to Mr. Prabhul Gupta and his entire team for this wonderful performance. And today's chief guest, Guru Sri Sadhanam Balakrishkanji, dance critics present here, Padma Shri Professor Sunil Kothari ji, uh, Ms. Tapati Chaudhary, Ms. Rani Kumar, and also uh, other dignitaries, uh, Bharati Ma'am and uh, Leela Venkatraman Madam, and uh, all the Rasikas. We would also like to thank Professor Sangeeta Menon, uh, 
uh, professor, uh, and she's the Dean of Humanities at the National Institute of Advanced Studies for a constant love and support. It wouldn't have been possible without Ma'am's support. Thank you so much, Ma'am. And uh, thank you one and all for being here uh, this evening. Namaste. Namaste.